Welcome to Side Body Therapy Anatomy Labs. Today we are going to be talking about a pair of minimally invasive blood tests that could possibly revolutionize the ability to diagnose endometriosis. The current timeline, how long it takes you to develop symptoms to the time you will be diagnosed with endometriosis is 10 plus years with literal horror stories of it taking 20 to 30 years to get a definitive diagnosis and start treatment for this condition. The two tests that we're talking about today promise to radically, dramatically reduce that timeline to weeks. The current best practice for diagnosing endometriosis is what's called keyhole surgery. Now this is endoscopic exploratory surgery where they are going to place a set of holes or pierce your abdomen. They are going to inflate your belly with CO2 and then they are going to put these cameras in and basically play Sherlock Holmes inside of you. A surgical procedure such as this comes with a lot of obstacles. Okay? The first is that not a lot of people may want to have exploratory surgery. Second is the cost. This may not be covered by insurance, and if you're paying out of pocket, it may be prohibi prohibitively expensive. Third, you're going to need to find a surgeon that has expertise, and by that I mean has done a high volume of these procedures because that is one of the determining factors of your result. I think we're starting to see the benefit of having a blood test that can tell you definitively whether or not you have this. And that's where Mitomic and Dot Endo are going to enter the scene. Both of these tests look for what are called biomarkers. Now a biomarker is just a chemical remnant or a cellular remnant of the pathology that needs to be identified. The two that are involved here are what are called mitochondrial DNA deletions and microRNAs. The mitomic test is going to be the one that is looking for mitochondrial DNA deletions. We're not going to get too far into the weeds. You just need to know that mitochondria are found inside of every single cell inside of you. And inside those, they have a circular gene that is called mitochondrial DNA. This entire gene is actually unique because it is acquired in totality from your mother. As this gene is used to build proteins and help perform functions in the cell, it can be affected or damaged by reactive oxygen species or uh, by breakdowns of the actual structure. Because of the sheer number of mitochondria that are found in the average cell, they are not often repaired and they build up over time. That buildup is actually one of the advantages that the mitomic test has because it may actually be able to detect it earlier or before symptoms have actually become highly pronounced. Now the mitomic is a blood test, so it means it's minimally invasive. So it's gonna be relatively easy to get and should be, should be affordable. Let's talk about accuracy. Their current models and studies are showing something in the realm of 90%, which sounds pretty good, but keep in mind that these are small studies currently. With Mitomic, it is not completely clear whether or not this particular test will be able to see or differentiate between the subtypes of endometriosis. Another unfortunate thing with the Mitomic test is that it is not available yet. It was originally scheduled to be released around 2019, 2020. I think we all know what happened there that caused worldwide delays of all kinds of things. All right, let's talk about the second test. This is by a company called Dot Endo, and they are looking for a biomarker called microRNAs. Not to get into the weeds, but microRNAs are found naturally inside of you. They are involved in protein building, DNA transcription. Basically, they can come along and they can instruct or modify the process by which proteins are made. Now, similarly to mitochondrial DNA deletions, they are actually found in uh, very large amounts when there is a pathology at work. Dot endo is basically promising 90% or above accuracy with a blood test, minimally invasive, and not just a, not an algorithm or like a risk profile. This is gonna be a definitive yes or no type answer. 
Dot Endo's current studies, the ones that are available to look at, do show that it should be able to differentiate between the different subtypes of endometriosis. The dot endo test does currently have a huge advantage because it is limitedly available. So you can actually talk to your provider and they can head over to dot endo's website and hopefully be able to request a test for you. If I have piqued your curiosity and you need to know more, you are going to find the links to both the Mitomic and Dot Endo websites in the description. Okay? I will also link all of the studies that I used to kind of put this video together so you can explore the same information that I had and hopefully draw some positive conclusions for yourself. If you are new to this condition or you have just started down this road and you're having a hard time finding all of the information that you need or want to get better care, a better diagnosis, and a better result for yourself, then I would like to encourage you to head over to this video where I will walk you through everything from the basics to what it looks like to options for treatment, and it's all in one place. So I hope you'll go take a look at that if I've piqued your curiosity.